Leukocytes are white blood cells that help fight infection. At sites of injury, infection, or inflammation, cytokines are released and stimulate endothelial cells that line adjacent blood vessels. The endothelial cells then express surface proteins called selectins. Selectins bind to carbohydrates displayed on the membrane of the leukocytes, causing them to stick to the walls of the blood vessels. This binding interaction is of sufficiently low affinity that the leukocytes can literally roll along the vessel walls in search for points to exit the vessel. There, they adhere tightly and squeeze between endothelial cells without disrupting the vessel walls then crawl out of the blood vessel into the adjacent connective tissue. Here, leukocyte rolling is observed directly in an anesthetized mouse. The up and down movement of the frame is due to the mouse's breathing. Two blood vessels are shown. The upper one is an artery with blood flowing from right to left. The lower one is a vein, with blood flowing from left to right. Leukocytes only adhere to the surface of veins. They do not crawl out of arteries. Some leukocytes are firmly attached and are in the process of crawling through the vessel walls, whereas others have already left the vessel and are seen in the surrounding connective tissue. When the blood flow is stopped temporarily by gently clamping the vessels, we can appreciate how densely both vessels are filled with red blood cells. Red blood cells do not interact with the vessel walls and move so fast under normal flow that we cannot see them. When the blood flow is restored, some of the leukocytes continue rolling, whereas all non-interacting cells are immediately washed away by the shear.